What is the best rep range for muscle growth? So traditionally, if your goal was to build muscle, you were told to train in the eight to 12 rep range. You would go lower reps if you wanted to gain strength, you would go higher reps if you wanted to gain endurance. And seven reps kind of became this Bermuda Triangle of rep ranges where people didn't really know what was gonna happen. And variations of this continuum kind of formed the muscle building recommendation guidelines for a long period of time. However, more recent research on the topic has suggested that you can actually build muscle across a much broader spectrum of rep ranges. So for example, one study compared eight to 12 reps to 25 to 35 reps and actually showed similar muscle growth between groups. Likewise, at the heavier end of the spectrum, in a powerlifting versus bodybuilding style training study, seven sets of just three reps showed similar muscle growth to three sets of 10. So you could build muscle across a very, very wide range of rep ranges. And this has been supported in a meta-analysis on the topic. So one research study looked at various different training intensities and made sure that they were volume equated between conditions. Now they did this by employing something called a within subject design. Now what that means is that one bicep and one leg would do a 20% one rep max training protocol. And then their other side was assigned to either 40%, 60% or 80%. And they would follow that training program twice a week for 12 weeks. So the result, muscle growth was seen across all conditions. However, 20% fell behind all of the other percentages. 40, 60, and 80% showed similar muscle growth between conditions. And as seen in previous literature, heavier weights did tend to increase strength. So what are your take home messages? Number one, you do not have to train in the eight to 12 rep range if your goal is to build muscle. Number two, even low load training can cause muscle growth. However, it is probably sensible that you don't go below around 30% one rep max. Number three, although this research study compared conditions, you obviously do not have to pick just one rep range. You could use multiple rep ranges within one workout or cycle them over a periodized program. Number four, I think it's worth keeping in mind that some recommendations may be exercise specific. For example, 40% one RM on something like a leg press or a leg extension where technique is controlled probably isn't gonna be the same as something like a squat or a deadlift where there's a greater chance of form breakdown. And number five, if your goal is to increase strength, of course it makes sense to train with heavier loads at least some of the time. So to summarize, be aware that you can build muscle across a very broad spectrum of rep ranges and use this knowledge as the basis to creating your program. Pay specific attention to things like your training history, the exercise selection you're using, your injury risk, and of course, your own personal preference. So that's it. Hope it's been helpful. Thank you for watching.